So Tulsi Gabbard went on Joe Rogan's podcast, and uh, she made news with some of her comments. But here's one of the best things she said. This is a report from Newsweek talking about it. Representative Tulsi Gabbard, a Democratic presidential candidate, said the U.S. should drop criminal charges against Julian Assange and Edward Snowden. The military veteran said during a lengthy interview on the Joe Rogan Experience podcast this week that WikiLeaks founder Assange and Nas national security whistleblower Snowden should not be prosecuted for disclosing information. Quote, what would you do about Julian Assange? What would you do about Edward Snowden? Rogan asked. Gabbard said, if elected, she would drop the Assange charges and pardon Snowden. We have got to address why Snowden did things the way he did them, she said. You hear the same thing from Chelsea Manning, how there is not an actual channel for, for whistleblowers like them to bring forward information that exposes egregious abuses of our constitutional rights and liberties, period. There was not a channel for that to happen in a real way. And that's why they ended up taking the path they did and suffering the consequences. In June 2013, Snowden handed over to journalists a trove of National Security Agency documents detailing a sprawling surveillance apparatus used by global intelligence agencies. Okay, so um, this is one of those moments where people who are political junkies and who are outside of the rotten system in Washington, D.C., we look at this and we go, well, of course she's right. This is obvious, and props to her for stating the obvious. But you have to understand how powerful context is here because she's coming from the context of being in Washington, D.C., surrounded by people who view this kind of stuff as taboo. Like, no, 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 you cannot speak out in favor of Chelsea Manning or Julian Assange or Edward Snowden because, you know, the NSA and the CIA and the deep state, um, you know, have been crossed by these characters. The military has been crossed by Chelsea Manning. You can't side with them. That's like a slap in the face to the intelligence agencies and to the military. Tulsi doesn't give a fuck. She doesn't care about that. She just said, fuck it, I'll, I'll tell the truth and I'll state the obvious. The obvious is Chelsea Manning exposed war crimes. She exposed there were people in the military who killed innocent civilians in Iraq, I believe it was, and then were laughing about it as they were killing them. And they did a double tap and killed the first responders as well. Again, laughing about it. When we saw that, we went, oh my goodness, that is not what's supposed to be happening. We're told that we're fighting for freedom and democracy and we care about human rights, and then we're killing innocent people and laughing about it. Chelsea Manning exposed that because she has a conscience. Um, Julian Assange of WikiLeaks released that because he has a conscience. Now, you could say, hey, in the 2016 election, he appeared to be more on the side of Trump. I think that's true. He even said the WikiLeaks, um, there were WikiLeaks DMs that were released where they said, we think it's better for Republicans to win. And they leaked on the DNC. Now, in my humble opinion, I'm totally fine with the leaks on the DNC because we learned stuff that we should have learned, that they were basically rigging the primary against Bernie Sanders. And we learned what Hillary Clinton was saying behind closed doors about how you need to have public positions and private positions. We were learning how the DNC was basically a fundraising arm uh, of the Hillary Clinton campaign. So all that should have been released. Now, if WikiLeaks had RNC material, would they have leaked it? I don't know, because they said, we think it's better for Trump to win. So, maybe they wouldn't have released it, and that I would have a problem with. If they had the ability to get RNC leaks, and they didn't get RNC leaks, and they didn't leak on that, I would have a problem with that. Now, having said that, that doesn't matter, because... What they, what he did was not illegal. What he did was not wrong. What he did was right. So Julian Assange is being persecuted because he pissed off a lot of very powerful people. Chelsea Manning, same thing. She just recently got out of jail. Again, they were trying to make her talk on Julian Assange or something, and then they locked her up. In the case of Edward Snowden, listen, the dude clearly only gave out information that we should have known. And what he was saying is, Hello, everybody. Your government is trampling on your constitutional rights. You have a protection under our Constitution from unreasonable search and seizure. The government is definitely violating that. They are definitely doing an unreasonable search and an unreasonable seizure of your information, of your data. So, for him to point that out, that's a hero. 
Now, understand, these guys tried to go through proper channels. Like, they tried to, you know, send it to the big outlets, and the big outlets rebuffed them, and, and so they ended up, in the case of Chelsea Manning, she went to Julian Assange of WikiLeaks. In the case of Edward Snowden, he went to uh, Glenn Greenwald and Laura Poitras? I could be getting that last one wrong. And I think at the time, they were with The Guardian. Um, and they he tried every conceivable way to do it where it would be more palatable, but he they ended up having to go to the outlets that they went to, and then, you know, the U.S. government pretended like, oh, they didn't do this in a reasonable and responsible way. And now, of course, Edward Snowden is still hiding overseas to this day, not allowed to return to his own country because he's a goddamn hero and the government would persecute him. And what's their argument? They would say, it's illegal that you release that information. Yeah, but it's illegal that the government's taken all of our information in the first place. So, who's really at fault here? You guys are for illegally taking our information, unconstitutionally taking our information. And Edward Snowden is not allowed to use in, in court the defense of this is in, this is for was for the public good. He's not allowed to use that defense in court because there's an old draconian law that won't allow him to use that um, argument. So this is big. It's big for a presidential candidate to come out and say these people are heroes. Because listen, time always exposes that. In the case of Daniel Ellsberg with the Pentagon Papers, he showed the war crimes that we were doing in Vietnam. Um, and then at the time, he was called a traitor. Uh, you're against the U.S. and all that nonsense. And over time, eventually people went, yeah, he was kind of right to show that we were, like, napalming and using Agent Orange on innocent villagers, wasn't he? On, like, landless peasants killing hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people. Good thing he, he exposed that. Mike Ravel read it into the congressional record. Hero in his own right as well. But now we have people very soon after... The story leaked, standing up and, and saying the right thing. And remember, Tulsi Gabbard brings an extra level of credibility on this stuff because she's a veteran. And like it or not, uh, you know, they have, they're viewed as inherently having more credibility on these issues because it's related to the military. So... But they still smear her. They still try to smear her. And they're not going to stop. They're going to, oh, Assad apologist, yada, yada. In the same, yeah, sure. In the same way that people who were saying we shouldn't go into Iraq were Saddam Hussein apologists. They weren't. They just didn't want us to do an illegal offensive war like we're still doing today. And like we, they want to do more of. Props to Tulsi Gabbard for saying this. By the way, in the same interview, you should check it out with Joe Rogan. Um, she also said... The Iraq war was mostly done for oil. True, but yet again, for all the establishment hacks out there, they'll clutch their pearls when they hear that. Oh, a major political candidate running for president saying that? Well, goodness gracious. They have these lines that they don't want you to cross. Like, here, I'll give you another example. You're not allowed to say, oh, that illegal and offensive war that we did? That illegal and offensive invasion, that was, um, that was a war crime. And people who did it should be prosecuted. You're not allowed to say that. You're not allowed to, you're not allowed to assign agency to the people who make the decisions in the U.S. If they do something bad, you have to describe it as a blunder. A oopsie. Like, whoops. They stumbled into war. You have to use words like that. Passive descriptions. Um... And this is one of those things where you're not you're allowed to say it was a mistake. That's what Obama always used to say. It was a mistake that we went into Iraq. You're not allowed to say it was for oil. If you're uh, if you're a viable legitimate candidate, Tulsi Gabbard said, "I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell it like it is." She said it it was for oil. So, props to her. Um, she's really a revolutionary candidate in many respects, and uh, I of course expect her to continue to be relentlessly smeared as a result of it.